Philip the Arab is best known for something that isn't true. Early Christian tradition has him down as the first Christian emperor. There's no evidence at all for that. The emperor that Philip the Arab most resembles is Macrinus from his background and his position before he became emperor. Little is known about Philip's early life, though, as is clear from his name, he came from the province of Arabia. In all probability, he was born during the reign of Septimius Severus. From 241, power in Rome settled in equestrian hands, most of whom came from the east. Philip and his brother Priscus were part of this set. By the end of 244, Philip was firmly in charge. Philip's first task as emperor was to extract himself from war in the east, especially if he wanted any credibility in Rome. His solution was to pay a tribute of 50 million sesterces to Shapur I, a massive sum. Philip put a great deal of effort into maintaining relations with the Senate, but was hampered by an empty exchequer. Put simply, the payment to Persia meant a huge rise in taxation, which was eventually to lead to his overthrow. By 245, Philip had to base himself in Philippopolis to defend what is now northern Bulgaria against a tribe called the Carpi. By 247, he was back in Rome to celebrate the high spot of his reign, the thousandth anniversary of the founding of Rome in April 238. Despite the celebrations, Philip was under pressure. He had to face several usurpers, notably Iotapianus in the east and Pacatianus along the Danube. Both were eventually put down, but a greater threat came from Decius, the new commander along the Danube and his two legions, the 4th Flavia Felix and the 11th Claudia. Decius revolted and marched on Rome in the summer of 249. Philip met his army in September outside Verona and lost. He was either defeated in battle or killed by his own troops soon afterwards.